Welcome back to this week's episode of Loft Conversion. Here we go. So on this week's episode of Loft Conversion, we have uh, removed the floor back down to the ceiling cord. Uh, now we, uh, this was a wall all the way up here. So we've decided to cut the wall in half. We like cutting stuff in half. So we've cut it in half. So we've still got safety in the staircase for now. Uh, now, we're stripping all the uh, walls out and the plaster off and things. And then we are firing it out of the window here to this ugly guy here. Uh, now, a lot of you guys doing loft conversions, you decide to work around the boiler and things and... Uh, we don't do that guys, we don't do that. We have the scaffolding adjusted so we can put the boiler outside. Back in a minute. Okay, back outside now. And uh, we've got boiler things going on on the scaffolding here. <laughs> uh, looks absolutely crazy. But that is a, a full working water system there guys. Uh, so the customer's not put out. Can't be having the customer moaning about they're not getting hot water and that. So there you go. We got the extra milers at uh, the roofing outlaw. So, back to my morning today about the uh, architect. So the architect has got six inch roof timbers. As you can see, that is a six meter span there, guys. So, absolutely no way, no way six inch timbers gonna span that. So, it's a good job I've built a few roofs in my time because uh, that guy ended up being a collapsed roof and a failed structure and uh, we don't want that. So here we go. So we've got uh, an extension below. So we've had the entire extension bridged. Uh, so there's no weight on the extension. We are going to knock this chimney stack down soon enough. And chimney stacks are much more fun to knock down when you just let me play with dynamite. But... Uh, no more dynamite, we have to use a hammer these days. Uh, health and safety spoil everything. Everything. So we've got timber lined up here now. It's all going to be thrown in the skip and the skip arrives. But uh, just for now, the inside walls are now stacked against here. Uh, and uh, hopefully the skip will be arriving soon. But uh, we've had to delay the delivery of the skip because we've got uh, three ton of breeze blocks coming, we've got two ton of sand, we've got a ton of cement, uh, we've got to uh, get it all on the drive somehow, and tomorrow morning my timber delivery is coming, about two tons of timber coming, so no room for the skip there right now. So, here's what's happening. So we've got the guys inside stripping out and sliding it down the roof here to stretch. <laughs> Don't throw them off. You're a bit late now, I've already heard them. We're going, we're going in, a, in the gable end. What's the point of chicken blocks off? We're going to have to carry them back up. You're not bloody telling me this, is it? <laughs> you're, you're telling me to get rid of it. Where do you want them then, stuck them here? Somewhere, somewhere, the cable. somewhere over there, yeah. <laughs> There's no point bombing uh, breeze blocks off and uh, <laughs> carrying them back up tomorrow. No, not at all. <laughs> Uh, oh, look at this chimney here. Just spotted that. As you can see, the chimney there has cracked in the wind. And you see that? So the top part there is separate to this bit here. But, uh, luckily, luckily, luckily I'm here to blow it up. No, not blowing it up. Not blow things up anymore. Not blowing up. We're blowing it up, Stretch. We're blowing the chimney up or we're we just going to knock it down with an hammer. <laughs> Might have to use the stick of dynamite. If anyone coming remembers my little stick of dynamite flavor. that I had. <laughs> Even coming lemon and lime flavour. <laughs> lemon and lime. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm going to show you in another video how we actually removed the chimney stack. Uh, you're going to like it. It's my special way. See you later.